because we just talked about uh, what would happen if we get a Democratic White House or a Democratic sweep. And many people believe there'd be a lot of money put in the renewable sector, but you've done a survey of hundreds of companies. And right now, clean energy jobs, like so many, are really, really suffering. Thank you, Brian. Yes, we just completed a survey, over 250 responses. And what we found was that over half actually took advantage of the PPP program. And we had about two thirds that have been adversely impacted and see their customer orders really starting to hit the skids. So there's a big concern out there. Yeah, I mean, is there a real risk that, you know, this was seen as a job creator. We just talked about oil. Well, listen, we're going to need all the power we can get to power data centers, EVs. It's not a zero sum game. This is seen as a big job creator. How many of these companies might be at risk of going out of business, Ellen? That's a huge risk. And I think that's the thing that we've got to really focus on here. We've got a little bit of an inequality economy. Some would say a big issue there. But we also have to make sure that our clean energy businesses not only survive this COVID recession, but they thrive in the future. We've got to move to clean energy as we decarbonize the economy. And I think, you know, there's a lot of policy tools out there. Let's see if we can get them working. I know in terms of the financial markets, you know, if you look at clean energy ETFs, year to date, they way outperformed fossil fuel energy yeah. ETFs. And we've seen a lot of movement and growth in green bonds. Even the Fed in their CMBS purchase program has actually acquired and purchased green bonds from uh, the Fannie Mae multifamily yeah. CMBS program. So, you know, there's a lot going on in the financial markets. We got to make sure that yeah. we true up the fiscal policy to get the economy moving ahead.